Hello everyone, this is Julie here, and I am going to be explaining to you what to do if you see, receive an email called spam notifications, which you should be getting every few days with a list of all, all emails that have been deemed spam and have been held in quarantine. Um, so Officer 65 does a very good job of determining whether something is spam or not, and there's different levels of spam protection. We have, you know, our clutter folder, which is just items that are not spam, but they are, um, they're based on your activity on your inbox. If you have constantly sent an email from a certain sender to your trash can or you don't ever respond to this sender, um, it determines that that is not an unimportant email to you and it will move it to the clutter folder automatically. Um, and I have created a web tutorial that you'll see um, if you go to Zendesk that explains how to turn off automatic clutter filtering if you don't want that. But it's basically just trying to get rid of the clutter out of your inbox and only having important messages that are important to you in your inbox. And then there's junk mail. And there's different levels of likelihood assigned to different emails of whether they are junk mail. Obviously Outlook's going to send a lot of things that are either harmful um, messages to your junk mail and then messages that are just mass advertisements that are have a very high likelihood that they are spam, they're going to go automatically to junk. But Office 365, our organization has defined a set of rules to determine whether other emails are spam or not. And so for those emails, you'll be getting these new messages called quarantine spam notifications. And so these are the ones that you get to manage as the user and determine whether they are spam or not. So if you do nothing when you get these messages about these emails, they will just automatically go to junk. But if you click release to inbox because you know it's a message that you do want to read, this will allow you to read that message. So if you click release to inbox, it'll show up in your inbox and you, you can open it and read it and do what you want with it. And then if you know you want to receive messages from this sender in the future, then you need to report it as not junk so that the spam team can analyze it. And then in the future, you would be able to get messages straight to your inbox from this sender.